Hey there, everyone. It's Joe from Ainsley's Gold Silver Standard Insights, brought to you by goldsilverstandard.com and ainsleybullion.com.au. It's TA Tuesday, where we take a look at the price of gold, silver, and something else. That something else this week will be platinum once again. But let's start with gold. We're looking at the tradingview.com website, priced in US dollars, right down the bottom here, 1,770 US dollars, roughly. Currently on the weekly time frame, but let's pop straight into the daily time frame, see where we've come from in the last seven days and what we need to look out for for the next seven days. Pop on the indicators, what I have here is support and resistance lines. I've had these drawn in for quite a long time if you've been following uh, these analysis videos and of course the relative strength index are down the bottom here as well. So that's pretty much what I do and some trend line analysis. If you have some other indicators that you like to use that you find very predictive, uh, then post a comment below and let me know and maybe I will use those in uh, subsequent videos. But here we are right here. Last week we were at or with gold, $1,750 roughly we were hovering at. So what's that? Today is the 6th. So we'll look around about Wednesday, Tuesday. There we go. The 29th. So around about here. And we were talking, of course, we were just in no man's land. We'd been in the range between uh, 1720 and the level of 1790. And we'd been talking about this next resistance level right here, breaking when we would eventually break through here of 1810. So in the last seven days, we have seen a nice, beautiful move up to and found resistance at uh, this resistance line here of 1810. What technically I think we topped out on this particular uh, particular exchange here at uh, what are we the high up oh, there you go uh, if you can look right up to the H there $1,810.04 there you go so pretty on the money 1810 it has been at least in the daily time frame here you can see that it was a failed attempt to break out higher it tried a little bit but it was a fast move to the downside because it was a failed attempt but you can see at the moment it's currently having or it has the 200 day moving average currently as support. Will that, will that hold? I don't know. I'm not a soothsayer, but uh, just currently take that uh, into consideration. Currently, uh, it is holding the 200-day moving average right there. So we're back down in this range again between 1720 and 1790. So last week I was saying that in order for me to be 100% confident that the bottom is definitely in for gold, I would need to see it break above 1810, come up preferably to this next level up here and then come back down, have 1810 as support. So far that has not happened. So we're back in this range here, but for now or so for now, I will just continue with my 80% uh, likelihood that the bottom is in for gold, silver as well, but we'll talk about that in just a second. What would negate that? Obviously a breakdown uh, through 1720, but I would say, and I think I said last week, I think pretty sure I was talking about if we were to break down, yeah, the 1660 level. I think last week I may have said this $1,700 level or breaking through it would cause me alarm. It would start to cause me like, oh, what's going on? But definitely a breakthrough here of that 1660 level. I would say we're definitely heading on our way down to a very big target. And I'll just show you that right here. Do I think it's going down to there? Not necessarily, but let me just show you anyway, if you're new to these videos. Uh, down uh, underneath this triple bottom right here. So bear, bear in mind, this is a triple bottom. And I'll just also uh, show you something else in a second. But look, if we do break down, 1560 or 1555 is the next level of support I would find. Do you disagree? Post a comment below. And when you agree, post a comment below because I love to hear when you agree with me too. Now check out this potential setup. Uh, if we are going to stay in this range for a little bit longer for in the next few weeks, uh, check this out, what could potentially happen. Now, of course, this is not financial advice and all that. We could just, you never know, we could just shoot straight up in the, the next week. But uh, you never know. Is, is this a setup? Tell me what you think. We have a shoulder right here. We have a head right here, triple bottom right there as well. Could this potentially be in the next couple of weeks at least, or at least well, the next next trading week or maybe the trading week after, a couple of red candle weeks down to, again, the support line of 1,720. I would even go as far as back down to the $1,700 level down here 
and then if we turn back up you're going to have a shoulder a head and a shoulder so that would be an inverted head and shoulders pattern and more often than not an inverted head and shoulders pattern says or predicts that we are going to see higher prices if it breaks the neckline which would be right here at uh, 1810 so quite possibly if it, we have a, a couple of down weeks and we find support at I would say the 1700 level you wouldn't want to go much lower if, if at all then that could be an inverted head and shoulders pattern uh, play so just keep that in mind as well so just currently very quickly just trading between that range of 1720 so back in no man's land at the moment of course I need to see it break above 1810 break above significantly and then hold it as support and that's when I am and I will 100% I will I will say out loud that I think the bottom is 100% in but 80% in for now that's on the weekly time frame let's take a look at the relative strength index still in the upwards direction a little bit of a spill back down I would suggest that if we close the week or the next couple of weeks if we close below the I would say this line here around about your 48 to 50 on the relative strength index if we close below there I would say we're heading down uh, a little bit further so maybe that makes that uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern in play uh, but uh, that's my feeling on the weekly time frame let's quickly pop out to the monthly so what you can see here on the monthly yeah you can see look we the we've opened the month quite well quite strong again the 1810 top out right there back down below this level here of the 1790 on the monthly time frame and look it's the 6th of December right now there is nothing stopping it having a red month really I mean we're at the start of December and we have had a little peak what you tend to find in uh, what you can find is that you will have a fake out before the real direction particularly at, you've got to be you've got to watch out for the start of any new time frame the start of an hour the start of a you know the day the start of the week and, and the start of the month it can tend to not always but it can tend to go in a direction and you think oh, oh here we go and then it fakes you out and then goes in the opposite direction particularly we've had this little spike here so quite potentially in the next and I'm not certainly not saying this but quite potentially it wouldn't surprise me if this month was a red candle month and we come back down to somewhere between as I was talking about that 1720 to 1700 dollar level really want to see that 1700 dollar level hold on the monthly time frame or just in general uh, in order for me to be confident that we are not seeing lower prices breaking down between there yeah as I said before probably heading down then to that 1560 level tell me what you think are you uh, bullish on the precious metals in the next coming months at least post a comment below and let me know what you think that is gold let's take a look at silver where's my old friend silver beautiful so this is silver on the monthly I will take it back to the daily just quickly okay what you can see here on the relative strength index just down here is we kind of have a double well it's not kind of so far it's a double top you can see we've uh, gone into or just hit overbought territory and then we've hit it again this also coincides with the move and we were talking about we're at uh, what were we at last time where, where were we at last time I should say on silver look down here 2120 that was from last week's video so 2120 and it was around about here and again we were just in no man's land we we're trading in this range between $21 and the $22 range I was suggesting that uh, we would need to break above the 22 to $22.50 level break above and have it hold as support so far uh, technically we have held as support between the 22 and $22.50 range so so far so good for silver but uh, definitely need it to break above again and I needed to hold that $22.50 level because you can see right here it's a previous level of resistance so definitely want to see it break above and hold the $22.50 level not just the $22 level uh, potentially on the relative strength index we could be heading down a little bit further uh, so let's pop into let's just pop to the four hourly very quickly 
yeah, look, I would suggest, let's pop back into the daily. I would suggest that we do not want to be breaking below. And we have actually have uh, kept our support so far and it hasn't touched as support so far the 200 day moving average so that is again uh it is positive so far i don't want to obviously i don't want to see it come back down here and break down through the 21 dollar level what's my big line in the sand i think it's still the 19 dollar 40 level let's pop this on the weekly and on the weekly rsi the relative strength index we are ticking up but we're starting to get towards the overbought territory and you can certainly see in previous history this kind of area and i'll show you right here if i pop a little horizontal line on doesn't always as i've always said it doesn't always have to go into overbought territory or extremely overbought territory before it has another dip so you can see right here here a distinct sort of resistance level if you can see if i pop it in eh, it's very rough but it's right about there as you can see that sort of coincides uh, to where we are right now so if we had a couple of down weeks just like gold, that really wouldn't concern me. I really don't want to see it break. Preferably, I don't want to see it break below $20.90. Big, big, big line in the sand, though, is $19.40. So even if we have we have $19.40 as support, as long as we don't break that, I'm going to be confident that uh, you know uh, we're not going to see lower prices. Breaking $19.40, yeah, I think we'd, we'd probably be heading lower. Uh, but just to be safe... You don't want it to break that $20.90 area right there, uh, but could easily see it come down in the next couple of weeks. It is not out of the realm of possibility that we just see uh, a couple of weeks of red candles, seeing as, though, seeing as though we've had you know a decent amount of green candles in the last few weeks. Of course, negating that, I definitely need to see it break above the, 20, where the $23.80 level right there. Uh, and for me, I still have to say that I'm 80% confident that the bottom is in. Can't call it 100 yet, just because we have not held the $22.50 level as support so far. Uh, so that is silver, I think. Let me just quickly look at the monthly. Yeah, and similar to gold, you know, we've had a, a good start to the month which potentially, and a spike as well, which potentially, you know, can say that the rest of the month could be a red month. So, just, so do just uh, keep that in mind. In actual fact, looking at the monthly time frame, I think I'm going to, yeah, I definitely don't want it to drop below the $20.90, $21 level uh, right there, because then I would suggest that even potentially January, the following month, uh, could potentially be a red month uh, as well. Uh, but that is silver. So definitely, in my opinion, still 80% in. We're not out of the woods just yet. So just uh, do keep that in mind. Uh, are you dollar cost average averaging or are you uh, holding all your dry powder or you're holding all your cash to wait for the perfect time? Uh, post a comment below. What's your strategy? Or do you do a combination of both? Do you dollar cost average, you know, every paycheck, etc., once a month or once every couple of weeks? And then do you keep a little bit back the the, the bag that you're waiting to, you know, really uh, go all in? Uh, we like to hear your strategies. Let us know. So that is silver. And lastly, take a look at platinum. I had to do platinum again because of what we've been speaking about over the last few weeks. This, and if you're new to the videos, very, very quickly, this huge downtrend line uh, going back to February, March of 2008. It had not been broken since until uh, January of 2021. There's been one, two, and now a third attempt. Well, technically three there. One, two, three attempts to break out. They were all failed moves. They all had a fast move to the downside. And just in the last week, we were talking about, or last week we were talking about it looks like it was going to make another play for it and would you know fourth time be a charm so far not yet because what we've seen we did see a break above in the last seven days a break above to this uh, resistance level a of what is it one thousand and forty dollars an attempt to break out but no it was a failed move so a fast move to the downside unfortunately so far we've now come back down below this long-term trend line but 
oh, where we're down to here. So 995 US dollars. We're just really making a play for it though, aren't we? It looks like we may even test it again. So currently right on resistance of this downtrend line. Let's take a look on the daily. That is the daily. Sorry. Let's take a look on the, let's see on the four hourly. Hmm. The four hourly, where are we? We're coming up to the beginning of another four hour count candle in the next 45 minutes or so. And we've had a spike down, but a nice little move all the way back up, which says more buyers are in control than the sellers. And it looks like people, well, the, the I don't know what you want to call it, but the uh, just the, the general uh, general traders, etc., are trying to keep it above uh, this long-term descending trend line right here. Let's pop into the hourly. Out of interest, don't normally go too close to the hourly. Yeah, look, we're making a play for it again. Gee, so on the hourly time frame, we have gone into oversold. We came back above. It was a failed attempt to go to overbought, back to oversold. We're moving in that direction again. Hopefully, what, third time's a charm? We really, really need to see it break above and hold. It has to hold. It looked like it was going to hold here, but unfortunately not. So what I need to see is, this is again on the hourly time frame. I usually wouldn't do so, you know, such a minuscule time frame. I usually like the daily and the weekly, but we just, we do need to say it, see it break above and break above here, wherever that is. So let's call it 1020 dollars roughly need to see it break above there and then hold as support oh, let me pop onto the weekly back onto the weekly with the relative strength index we are still trending upwards but we are in the upper band of the relative strength index again certainly have been times where you've you've topped out around about this level i'll show you right here as you can see, certainly times where it's been, you know, a decent level of resistance. One, two, three, four, and now possibly here as well. If it were to tick back down and go head towards the oversold level, that actually really wouldn't surprise me. So I wouldn't be shocked. And if I think gold has the potential to move down from here, at least the potential, if I have, think the potential for silver to do the same, I have to say the same for platinum as well. What it's got going for it so far, though, as I said, is the fact that it has yet, well, I actually hadn't mentioned it yet, it is yet to break down through this little trend line uh, right here on the daily time frame. Breaking through that, yep, definitely, we're going to come down to this support level of 920. If we break the 920 support level, then absolutely, I would suggest we're going probably very close down to the next one, which would be around about your 800. So your $920 level, line in the sand for me for platinum so no man's land at the moment so far a failed a failed fourth attempt uh to break and hold the long-term descending trend line let's see what happens i'm not going to give a call either way uh, but if we do break down there are my targets moving lower and if we do break above as i have been talking about absolutely the next level of uh, resistance is around about your 1175 to 1200 dollar us uh, dollar amount that is for platinum all right so that's gold that's silver that is platinum if there's anything you would like me to cover any other metals although there's not many others i do know that someone wants me to cover rhodium still finding still trying to find an interactive rhodium chart maybe i'll just have to settle for a static rhodium chart but someone does want me to do rhodium uh, but are there any other cryptos or anything else are there some i usually don't dabble in shares but if you want me to uh you know take a look at you know the stock price of something, just post a comment below, post the ticker, post a particular crypto if you want me to look at it. And if I get enough requests for it, I will certainly add it uh, at the end of these videos. You'll always get gold, you'll always get silver, and then you'll get something different every week. Uh, Platinum's just been recent uh, because of this, again, this attempt to break out. So I will continue to monitor Platinum and I'll continue to keep you updated with that. All right, what I need you to do, of course, is head over to the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Ainsley Bullion for the TA Tuesdays, of course, and the weekly Wednesday specials, our Gold Silver Standard Insights videos, very informative educational content, 
five days a week uh, and it really pays to be a subscriber uh, so you want to hit the big red subscribe button right now and while you're on the internet do head over to goldsilverstandard.com because that brings gold and silver into the digital world it's a really good idea to at least open your eyes open your mind to it and uh, take a quick look so definitely check that out goldsilverstandard.com and as we say at the end here balance your wealth in an unbalanced world Take care, and we'll see you soon.